The fish is purple and is so deeply pigmented that it keeps its color even when it's preserved for research. Usually at this stage, most fish lose their natural color, but that's not the case with the Wakanda fish. Number 9. Geckos in Myanmar Lee Grismer, an expert in amphibians and reptiles, has spent his career studying and discovering new species. For that reason, he was invited to Myanmar by a mining company that wanted him to assess the place before they blew it up. They wanted to know if their work would have any impact on the environment. To their surprise, they found a new species of gecko, which led Lee and a team of experts to go back to the same spot and find more species that we hadn't heard about before. Today, they discovered more than 20 different types of gecko that are unique to this part of the world. This story shows us the importance of exploring remote places that not many people dare to go to. If it wasn't for Lee and his team, we wouldn't know about these animals. And also, if it wasn't for people like them, big companies could easily just take over nature without knowing about the harm they're causing on these unknown species. Number 8. Shocking Sea Slugs Sea slugs are not a novelty. We've known about them for a while, and we've come to realize that they are masters of disguise. They're good at mimicking the colors of other species to protect themselves. However, back in 2019, a zoologist named Terry Gosliner found a sea slug that not only is able to mimic colors, but it can also copy the shape of another species. Pretty creepy, honestly. Terry and his team noticed that the sea slug can adopt the shape of snail eggs that usually surround its habitat. This is indeed new and quite shocking, but it's not the only new type of sea slug that was found. There were five other types of sea slugs that were recently discovered. Number 7. The Moving Flower It's hard to look at plants the same way we look at animals. After all, plants can't communicate in the same way that animals do, but that shouldn't be a reason to underestimate them. Over the years, we've learned that they actually communicate with each other and they respond to their surroundings in very interesting ways. And recently, the discovery of a flower showed us that plants also move. That's right, its name is Tremblea altoparisensis. Even though this interesting flowering plant has been collected more than 100 years ago, no one had really been able to find it in modern times. But that changed back in 2009 when someone found it in the canyons of a national park in Brazil. The name of the national park is Chapada dos Videros, and apparently that's the only place where you can find this plant. When asked about why it was so hard to find, a botanist said that it was because plants actually move, even though we don't see it. They do so in order to find new environments in which they can thrive and get what they need. Number 6. A New Kind of Skatefish When you look at skatefish, you could easily mistake them for rays. The two are very similar to each other. But skates are very particular to the waters surrounding the Falkland Islands, and they live at depths of about 2,000 feet. Also, skates are cut into steaks, and in Korea, people ferment them before they eat them. I don't know what that has to do between the differences, I just thought it was interesting. However, recent studies have shown that some of the skate fish that people get at the market are actually a new species. This species is called Dipterus lamellae. This discovery is very important to all of the people who like skate fish. Sometimes people overfish this animal and exploit it. However, now that they know that they have a new species in their catch, they might be more mindful about it and they'll try to understand it more. No, who am I kidding? We're just gonna look for better ways to eat this thing. Number 5. Rare Coral It might not look like it, but corals are living organisms. They're not just the homes of small fish, but they also have a life of their own, and there are different kinds of coral all over the world. Recently, a group of marine experts found a yellow coral off the coast of Northern California. When they put it under a microscope, they realized that it was different to any type of coral they had seen before. They called it Chromoplexara cordalbankensis in honor of the Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary, which is where they found it. And that was one out of two of different corals that they found in the region. In order to find these rare species, researchers had to use some remotely operated vehicles that helped them to get to the parts of the ocean that people never get to explore on their own. Number 4. Rubruciaria bambusius. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but just roll with it. So far, we've talked about the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom, but there's another kingdom that provided new discoveries of the scientific field. I'm talking about the fungi kingdom. Recently, the above fungus was brought to the attention of scientists all around the world. 
In China, people call it zugongjin, and it's a type of ball-shaped pink fungus that grows in the bamboo trees. Although it had been known for a while in its native Yunnan, in southwest China, not many people outside of that place were aware of its existence. But now there are many people studying this fungus. It's been revealed that this type of fungus has medicinal properties that can cure arthritis and convulsions in children. There's more research going on, and it's only a matter of time before we find out more about the amazing things that this rare fungus can do. Number 3. Spiders I think most of us agree that spiders are quite scary, and it's definitely the type of creature that you don't want to share a home with. And I'm sure insects feel the same way about this. However, things are a bit different for these spiders that were recently discovered in the Chihuahuan Desert of Mexico. They live inside ants' nests, and some people actually started calling them ant worshippers. I don't know how the ants feel about this, but it seems like they get along pretty well. Unfortunately, no one is able to see what really goes on inside the ant mounts. Researchers know about these ants because they found them at the surface level, but unfortunately, they don't know how they behave once they're underground. The only way to find out would be through digging, but that would spoil their natural state, and it wouldn't give us a proper idea of what these spiders do down there. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for the day shows a very odd animal. It looks like a blind dolphin, and it made me think about all the underwater creatures that we haven't discovered yet. Here's an example of a recent discovery with number two. The Whale Dolphin We've heard about the whale sharks, but now we have the whale dolphin. This hybrid animal was discovered off the coast of Kauai, Hawaii. The animal was first seen in 2017. As soon as the first photos were released, the specialists knew that they were looking at a very rare hybrid animal. Later, a team of experts took a biopsy sample from the animal to perform a proper genetic study. They found out that the animal was the result of the mating of a whale and a dolphin, which is honestly a very rare and unique combination. They determined that the father was a rough-toothed dolphin and the mother was a melon-headed whale. Hybrid animals are nothing new to us. In fact, humans are known for crossing different species to get interesting results, such as the zorses and the beefaloes, which are animals that can thrive in domestic environments. But the interesting thing about the whale dolphin is that everything happened naturally, without the intervention of any human. This kind of partnership usually ends in an infertile offspring, which means we probably won't see other animals like this one. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Headless Chicken Sea Monster Okay, the name sounds a bit scary and interesting, but the Headless Chicken Sea Monster is actually a type of sea cucumber. Up until 2018, the animal had been seen in the wild only one time, and that was in the Gulf of Mexico. However, people recently saw it swimming around the east side of Antarctica. This animal is able to swim with the help of its wing-like fins, and even though they can fly in the water, they try to stay as close as possible to the ocean floor. This is where they feed on tiny particles like algae. There are more than 1,000 species of sea cucumber, but this is one of the rarest and newest ones to our eyes. Now, let me ask you. What's the strangest animal you've seen in your life? Do you know about rare animals that are unique to your part of the world? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.